Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Harold. So we're all you know, set yes, nine o'clock. Yeah. Yesterday I had no internet for five hours. Oh, that's weird. You know why? I don't know, but they sent me a, a text that they're working on on the on my area, and so it's affecting you. But it will be the first done. First one. At I mean, who, do you, who, do you, who do you use? Spectrum. Oh. You don't? What do you use? AT and T. Oh. Yeah. You, you have fiber? No, no. I wish. No. Well, they have fiber, AT and T. I don't think in my area. I don't think so. Oh, oh okay. I would jet. Yeah, not in my area. No. Where are you in your house? No, I'm in uh, Mammoth skiing. Oh, with all the that's kids. Nice. Yeah. Cold yeah. enough. Cold enough. It snowed a lot today. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Do you ski? Do you ski? No, no, not anymore. No. Oh. It's too slippery, dude. I don't need, I don't need the, the excitement. <laughs> well, I saw the picture of your brother in the in Florida in the Everglades. Oh, with the crocodiles or alligators? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but he's going in the boat. He yeah. looks a little bit scared. Of course. You fall out, you're finished. <laughs> oh, yeah. They eat you up. You live there, you know. Eh? You know how it is there in Florida. Well, I drove by through the yeah. other way. Yeah, Only I'm Ernie. Around. Hi, Ernie's there. Where is he? Hi, Ernie. Good morning. Bokitov. 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 Are you in Gaza? Where are you now? <laughs> in Yerushalayim. Oh, okay. I don't think you should be at the, on the window. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. It's cold outside. It's forty-eight oh. degrees. Wow. wow. We are driving. Yeah, I'm going with Yaakov and his community. They bring Chulant and Kogol to an army base right near Gaza oh, nice. because oh. the, the army gives them, you know, regular meals, yeah. MRE meals ready to eat. So by by giving them children, we're talking about to non-religious soldiers. They're getting a wonderful feeling about you know other Jews who care for them and Shabbos and everything. So I'm going to drive with him to that base. Oh, nice. Friday. Yeah. Okay. okay, we're on Ion Tess. We're on yeah. seventy nine. Uh, Actually, we're on the bottom of Ion Tess on the base. Ton Rabbonon. Somebody stole, and I give it to a shaliach, and he shechts it. Now, we normally have a rule, if I hire a killer to kill someone, in Jewish law, the blame does not go to the person who hired the person. The person who killed is, is liable. But like when, when I give money to a person to give to a woman to be for Kiddushin, the shlichus works. He stands in my stead, but not for a criminal action. Mm -hmm. The person themselves who committed the criminal action, he's always going to be liable. Except in this case. So am I Maganev and I Shech my animal, I have to pay dollar the hay. If I give it to somebody else, I tell him to shecht it. I, the, what, the ganif pays dollar the hay. There is shlichus. The punishment goes back to the person who arranged for the shrita to take place. Hmm. And we'll see why. And we'll see why. Same thing. If I 
stalled and I give it to an agent to sell on my behalf. So I have to pay the dollar to him, not the guy, not the guy who's stalled. We're on Iron Test, Walter, 79. Gona Vihigdish. If a Ganef was Magdish or Ganef Hikif, that means I sold it to somebody, but I didn't accept payment right away. He's going to pay me over time. Gona Vihichlit. I didn't sell it for money. I bartered. I gave somebody the cow and he gave me a horse. All, all of these examples trigger a sale. It's considered like a sale. Gonavu Porokovo. I stole and I used the cow that I stole to pay back a debt. Gonavu Porbekefo. Or let's say I had bought something and I owed money on the, on the thing and I used the, the cow to pay my debt. It was traditional if you got if you got engaged or makadesh to a girl before you got married, you would send gifts to the father-in-law. In all these cases, so a matana, in all these cases, Mishalim Tashlume Arbim Khamisha. You they're considered examples of sales. My Kamash Malon. So we've already learned all this. What are you teaching me here? So Gona Venosan La Acher Vitobach. The Chiddush in this Baraisa is the case that I described where normally we don't say Shlichas Lidvara Vera. If I tell somebody to kill somebody and the guy kills somebody, even if I pay him to do it, I am not liable. The person who killed is liable. But here, if I tell a shaliach to shecht, and he shechts on my behalf, I have to pay the dal of the hay. Sheyesh lichus ledvar aver. Af agav shebechol ator kula, ein shliach ledvar aver. Even though, as I've explained this morning, there's no shlichus ledvar aver in all other cases. And if someone does a maisa aver, the punishment is on him. Here, hacha yesh shliach ledvar aver. My time, utvocho o mechoro. It compares shechita to sale. My mechira shloi efsher de la vayde acher. You can't sell something to yourself. Selling always involves another party. So similarly, by avtvicha yde acher mechay. Vashmin and seifa, gone of the higdish. Mali machol ahedit, mali machol shemaim. That means selling it to an individual or selling it by giving it to the base of Mikdash is still considered a mechir. Okay. Mishnah. Gonav Bishus Abarbi. I go into Reuven's house and steal his cow. The tovachu machar chutz mishusa. But I shecht it outside of the rishus. Oh, shagonav chutz mishusa. I stole it, not in the rishus, but tovachu machar bishusa. Let's say... I'm bringing it back to their house, not to give it back, but I shecht it in their property. Oh, or I did both. I shecht it and I, I stole and I shecht it not in their shoes. In all these cases, the only exception will be if I never left their property. I took it and I shechted it, water. I don't have to pay kefil either. I do have to pay back the animal, but not kefil. He's not considered a ganev because he didn't leave the person's property with the item. Hayen moishcho, the yotze. Let's say it was an animal, and I pulled it, and I left the rishus of the person. Umeis. And then the animal died. The soch, the rishus Now, I was I was leaving the rishus, but I didn't leave it. And the animal died died while it was still. I hadn't left the rishus of the owner. Potter, I don't have to pay anything because it was not 
I hadn't been coined it yet until that's with Mashiach, but Higbiu, Hagba, even in the Rishus of the Bailim, will acquire it to the Ganav. Or Hotziu Mashus Bailim, or I left the Rishus and then Mace, then Chalif, because then I acquired it. So then I'd have to pay. Nosno Bchoros Beno. I have a new a newborn baby, and the baby is thirty days old, and I have to go to the Kohen to give to give him five sloim to be poda my son for pidyon for pidyon aben. Instead of giving him five coins, I give him a cow. So I stole a cow and gave it to the Kohen as a pedia. Olo balchov. Or I owe money, and I give it to a creditor to pay. Oh, the Ganav steals it, and then I give it to a shoimer, or the shoyel, or the nosei schar, or shoicher, any of the four shoimerim. And those shoimerim, Hayam Moshcho, they did Mashiach from the Rishus of Bailim into their Rishus. Or, no, no, they were doing Mashiach, they didn't leave the Rishus, Umez Rishus of Bailim Potter. But Higbiu, if the Shoimer, or the Koyen, or the Balchov, lifted it, even in the Rishus of the Bailim, Osho Tzim Rishus of Bailim, Umez Chayef, then they would be Chayef to pay. Boya Meimar, Tiknu Meshichu B'Shoimer Molo. Now, a shoimer, a watchman, is high in responsibility for an item at a certain point. So, is it only triggered once he does Mashiach to the item as a Kenyan? Or maybe they just agree. Maybe he doesn't require an... Maybe just once they agree that he's going to watch it, and there's no... Din of Meshich. Amr of Yemar Toshma, Nosno Lubchoros Bnol Bal Choyvo and Lashom Machin and Lashom and Lashom and Lashom. Our Paraisa, our Mishnah, a Ganav gave it to a Shoimer. And then it specifically says, Hayam Moshcho, the Yotze, Umez Peshus Ban Potter. My love, aren't we talking about that? Who's doing the Meshich here? The Shoimer. Ushmami, not Tikn Meshich of the Shoimer. That there is a concept that the Shoimer has to do Meshich for him to. Begin the achrayas, and that's why the ganef is mischayev. Once the shomer was moishachet, amr lay lo. There's no proof. Maybe this is a case where the bailim gave the animal to a shomer to begin with, and the mashicha here is being done by the ganef. Who's the the is our ganef, who is moishachet from the house of the shomer. Well, Rav Yamer will ask if we're talking about the Ganev, Hatale Resha. I mean, that's the Resha was talking about the Ganev. Why, why does the Safe have to say the same thing? So, Tana Ganev, Shaganev, Beis Abaylim, the Tana Ganev, Shaganev, Beis Shaymer. It wanted to teach me the same din. Ganev food steals from the original owner. If the original owner deposited the item with a shoimer and a ganav steals from the shoimer, it's the same halacha. Omer Ravashi, lo titchit. That's not a good answer. Mali ganav shaganav beis shoimer. Mali ganav shaganav beis It's the same din. You don't have to give me a new safe of a, of a mishnah. There's no difference in the two cases. El alav. We're talking about the mishicha was done by the shoimer. Ushmami no tikno mishicha b'shoimer that. There is a takana that before a shoimer is responsible, he has to do an act of a kinyan. Shmami no. And that's a good raya. It marnami. There's another statement in the name of Amoira that says the same thing. Amra Balazar. Kiderak shatiknu mashicha balakulchos. So, for example, there is a din. If I go buy wheat and Mario has a warehouse, Unless I take the wheat, I'm not acquiring it. 
because they made a takana. Otherwise, Mario, who owns the weed in his warehouse, is not going to be careful, be a fire. And if we say just paying the money without taking possession of the wheat acquires it, then the buyer stands to lose. So they made a takana by buyers. Same thing, tikna mashiach b'shoimrin. They made the same takana that a shoimer is not responsible. He actually takes possession of it. Uchashem shakarka niknis bekes of b'shtar b'chazaka. Land is acquired through money, contract, or actually living on the land, chazaka. So, l'chor, we don't know what that means yet. Normally, schiris means rental or leasing. So, we have to explain the, this last statement of the b'risa. Schiris demai, what, what kind of rental are we talking about here? Ilema, schiris de metaltalin, I'm renting a cow or renting a shovel. The metaltalin, but they store it, you don't need a star to acquire metaltalin. We're talking about leasing a piece of land for 10 years. So those things are also acquired the same way you purchase a piece of land with Kesef, Shtar, and Chazaka. Okay, I'm Rabbi Lazar. Now we're going to get a little bit, which we really haven't done yet, into the differentiating between a Ganef and a Gazlan. Um, Rabbi Lazar, Raul, Shehitmin, Bechorshin. We see that a Ganef, he took the whatever he he took the animal and he hid it in a forest. The Tobachu Mocha. Meshalim Tashlim Arvachamisha. So Amai. Halay Moshach. We didn't see him. All, all we saw was this Ganef hiding an animal in a forest. We didn't see him take it from the Bible. Amr of Chizda, Shehikisha, the Makel. We saw him taking a stick, hitting the animal from behind to making it go. And that is like Meshicha. Amri, the Kivan Shra'uhu. Okay, a Ganef steals secretly. You don't know, somebody comes into your house and steals, that's a Ganef. Somebody holds you up and you see him taking something from you, that's a goslin. So Kivan Shirauhu. So if people saw this person hit the animal with a stick, and that's how he, and that's how he had so goslin who he did it openly. And a goslin who shechts and steals doesn't pay dollar the hay. So the Gemara answers, Kivan to commit Mariminayu, but he's hiding himself from other people. So he doesn't want to reveal. So Ganafu. So Navig more than has to explain. So describe what would be a Ghazlan. This was a case we learned in, in the Navi Shmuel. He stole the spear from the Mitzri and killed him with it. So when you take something directly by, by force from a person, that's a gazla. They set up like an ambush and they took like they were highway robbers. So Ravavo, my time in Omar Mehai. Why didn't why did Ravavo learn from Benayo Ben Why didn't he learn from these highway robbers? They're hiding in, in a in a forest. So they're not Gazlanim. Gazlanim don't are not afraid. Gazlan does everything openly. So Rav Yoichnan, how does he respond? How to commit They're not afraid of stealing. They just don't want other people to take the items away from them. They're not afraid or embarrassed. It's they're, they're hiding their stolen goods so nobody will take it. But the act of gazela they're going to do openly. They're not afraid of it. But hiding their item 
So other people won't take it. That's not, that doesn't remove them from being a Gazlan to being a Gada. Shalu Talmidavas Ravircha Ben Zakai. Mipne Machmir Tur Begana Fiosumi Gazlan. A Gazlan who steals and shafts does not pay Dal de Hay and doesn't pay Kefal. Why is the Torah more, more strict by a Ganev? Amrlan, Zehishva covered Evid Lekvod Kono. A Gazlan is not embarrassed. He treats Hashem the way he treats the other person. Zeh, Lohishva covered Evid Lekvod Kono. The Ganev doesn't think that Hashem is seeing what he's doing. Kivyochal Asa Ayan Shomata. It makes like a Kodesh Prochus eye, ki ilu ene roe v'oizen shomat, as if he's not seeing what the Ganef is doing. V'oizen shomato, ki ilu ene shomat. It means it, he's attacking the omnipotence of a Kodesh Prochus. He thinks by hiding from other people, no one's going to see what he's doing. When Hashem is going to see it. The Gazlan doesn't, doesn't have that attitude. The Gazlan is not hiding from anybody. Shenema. Heavy hamamikim ma'ashem lestir eitzah means people who hide from Hashem, behind the machashek masay, and they try to cloak their deeds. Uksi vayomru lo yira kol v'lo yavino keyako. People think that Hashem's not going to see, not going to understand. Uksi ki omar azav Hashem esarts ve'ed Hashem roa. These are negative things. Tanya Rav Meir. Moshlo mishol. Moshlo moshlo mishum Rav Gamliel. A parable was told in the name of Gamliel, the Madaver Doiman. The Shneb the Adam Shayu Beir, the Asumishta. Two people in the city, they made a they made a big suda, a big wedding. Echad Zimanis Bnea Ir Velo Zimanis Bnea One guy invited all the people, but not the king. Echad Lo Zimanis Bnea Ir Velo Zimanis Bnea Mela. He didn't invite anybody. Ezemehen On Shomeru. Who's going to get punished more? Have you ever said Zimanis Bnea Ir Velo Zimanis Bnea Mela? The person who invited the whole city but left the king out. Amrav Meir. Borei kamagodal koch shomalacha. Sure. No. Borei kamagodal koch shomalacha. Look how powerful work is. Sure. Shibitlo mimlachto. So, a ganif, when he steals a shore and shechts it, has to pay five times the value of the shore. When he steals a sheep, he only pays four times. Why does he pay more for the shore? So a shore was a beast of burden. The, the owner plowed with the shore. He did work with the shore. So the ganif has deprived the owner of a workhorse. And that's more valuable. Se shalobitlo ben lato. Only pays Arba. Abra Vich ben Zakai, different reason. Borei Kamagodal covered Abrios. Shor Shaholach Barakla, Chamisha. Seshe Kivok Tefo Arba. Meaning, the Ganef, when he steals a sheep, carries the sheep on his back. So he doesn't have to pay the full amount. He gets he gets a reduction because he, the shore walked by itself. And here he had to schlep. So he sort of gets paid for, for schlepping the, the sheep. Mishnah. You can't raise sheep and goats. Rashi says, The way they eat, they eat the grass completely and destroy it from the roots. So they, they just so you're not allowed to raise sheep and goats in Eretz Israel. Aval. Megadlin the Surya. In Syria, even though there's some dinim in Surya, which we treat like Eretz Israel, there you're allowed to raise those animals. Similarly, Bimid Boros, Shal Eretz Israel, where people don't live or plant or have fields, like in the desert, that's you're also allowed to raise them there. You don't raise chickens in Jerusalem. Chickens, they deal with a lot of Tomei Dika things. 
in, in they they drag out of rats, dead rats, dead 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 lizards. I don't know, and therefore it's going to be matami psar kochim. The lo kohanim berdisov and the atarus kohanim where they live didn't raise chickens because they have to eat their food with tahara like truma, and maybe the the tar the chickens will matami them. Ain magadlin chazirin bechol makom. We don't raise. We don't raise uh, pigs. Gemara will explain why. You can't have a dog raise a dog unless it has a chain, because we don't want the dog to do damage to people. The there were nets that would catch doves. You had to. This had to be very four miles away from the city. Otherwise, people who own private birds would get caught in this. So that's a takana to avoid that. Tanra Baba. In Magadabai Madaka Bert Yisrael. We don't raise small animals like sheep and goats in Eretz Yisrael. Aval Magadlin, Bechorshin Shil Eretz Yisrael. You can raise them in forests. And in Surya, even where the people live. And certainly in Chutzla, it's Tan Yidich. In Megadlin be Medaka Bereit, so you can't raise smaller animals in Eretz Yisrael. Avol Megadlin be Mibar Shibuda be Mibar Shabesfar Akko. In the Judean desert, and I guess there was a desert near Akko. Of Avol Pisha Omru in Megadlin be Medaka. Avol Megadlin be Megasa. You can raise large animals, uh, cows, oxen, lefi. So technically, I guess there would have been a gzeira, but you can't make a gzeira on the tzibur if you know that the tzibur can't 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 hold by it. A small sheep and goats were grown primarily to eat. So efshar lahavim chutz laaretz. So you could bring those from Chutzlars. Beim Agasa, Yevshalavim Chutzlars. Big animals, you, they, they were needed for work every day. So they were around. You didn't, there was no purpose in bringing them from other places. Avon Bisharma, Emegadam, Emedaka, even though we said you can't raise sheep and goats, Avon Mashahu, Koyim Laregel Shoshim, let's say you bought it before Yontif, because you're going to eat it. So you're allowed to keep it for 30 days. Or or you're making a wedding for your son, you could keep it 30 days. Right? You can't keep it more than you can't trick, keep on doing tricks. The expiration is 30 days. Maybe if the yontiv passes, you maybe only bought it two weeks before the yontiv. And now it hasn't filled the 30 days. Lo name it plus Misha Shari Le Lashui that you're allowed to keep it 30 days Alec. Even the Nafikli, once the, the Yont have passed, Lo Mavai Le Lashui. There's no purpose in keeping it anymore, and really you'd be prohibited to keep it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, tomorrow, same same time. Okay. Okay, thank you. Enjoy your day. Have a, no, have no, a nice sure. day. Just, just, how how right, is your trip? Right. Everything okay? Trip, you look great. Beautiful.